Hi kids, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do the scientific experiment using paint and water. We'll talk about the scientific methods and what scientists do to make an experiment and then we'll read the book about white rabbit's colors. Let's begin by talking about the experiment. Every scientist starts an experiment by asking a question. A scientific method is consists of four things. Number one, we're going to ask a question. For example, what will happen if we mix the colors, if we mix yellow or blue or red and um, orange? Next, we're going to form a hypothesis. We're going to make a prediction. A hypothesis is the fancy word for prediction or a guess. What will happen? What do you think will happen? So we're going to ask that question. You can say, I think that yellow and red will make an orange color. Next step is we're going to design an experiment. What do I need to make an experiment? I'll tell you in a minute what are some things that you need to collect around the house so you can make this simple experiment. And finally, we're going to draw a conclusion. What happened to our colors? Did they create a new color? Did it work? And what are some things you can change and make an experiment again? We are going to check our hypothesis. Hypothesis, remember, is a fancy word for a, word for a prediction. In science, we need to ask very specific questions to find answers. For example, instead of saying what will happen, you can think about what colors can I mix to make a new color? Or what will happen to those two specific colors? For example, red and yellow. Next thing, we're going to think about a prediction. So on your worksheet that you can save and download from the description below, first, you're going to make a prediction. You're going to think what will happen. Go ahead and do that right now. Make a prediction before we start the experiment. For this part of our video, you will need nine cups. Um, you will need three main, you will need three paints. Those are the basic colors, blue, yellow, and red. I just use a Crayola colors paint. You can use any paint you have in your house. You also will need some either measuring spoon or any spoon, or you can use paint brushes so you can scoop some paint in your water. You also need some water to put some water in the pitcher and a water with cup where you can wash your, wash your brushes. So the first step, what we're going to do is remember, we're going to ask the question. So before we do that, we need to mix our paint so our scientific experiment is ready. So first, we're going to do three cups. We're going to put about three tablespoons of water, or you don't have to really measure. You can if you'd like to. Okay, you can put some water in the cup, so make sure each cup has some water. Next, you're going to put some paint. So you're going to put three... Three, you're going to make three cups with yellow paint, three cups with red, and three cups with blue. So let's do this. I'm going to start with the red paint. Like I said, you can use a measuring spoon or you can use just a brush and you're going to dip, make sure your brush is wet. You're going to dip, put it in the cup, mix it, make, and make some red paint. Okay, Mix it really well, make sure there is no paint clumps. You're going to back, Okay, dip, make next cup red, another dip, one more. So now you should have three cups with red paint ready to go because we're going to be using them for our scientific experiment. The next is we're going to do yellow. I'm going to take my yellow paint once one more time, dip my brush in the water, make sure it's wet, get some yellow paint in the cup, mix it really well, okay, dip it again, cup number two, and then we have our final cup for cup number three. And once this done, we're going to do our blue. And this is a fun experiment. You can make it with your brothers and sisters or your friends and your family. And the last paint is we're going to do some blue paint. And this was also a fun experiment to do outside because then you don't have to worry about making a mess in the house. So blue dip in the paint. Mix it really well. One more time. And now we should have nine cups, three red, three yellows, and three blues. Once that's ready, you can close your paint for now. So the first question we're going to ask is, 
what will happen if I mix red and yellow? So I have two cups, I have red paint in this cup, I have yellow paint in this cup, and then I'm going to mix them together. So remember on our worksheet you made a guess already, you predicted what will happen to uh, the, the colors. So my prediction was I think yellow and red will make uh, orange, so let's see if that's true. So I'm going to take my yellow and dump it into the pink, into the red cup, okay? Give it a good shape. You can also use one of your measuring spoons or something to mix it with, okay? And now you should see if my prediction was right. Did it change the color? So when I look at that, I see that the color changed to kind of like a um, orange, bright carrot color. So this is something you can do. You can also dip your paintbrush in and test it on a piece of paper. But this is what happened to my first cup. And the next one I'm going to see if I take the second question. What will happen if I use um, yellow, if I use red and blue. So next I'm going to take my red and blue cup and I'm going to mix it once more time. I'm going to dip I'm going to take my colors and dump the blue and red. And I'm going to kind of give it a shake or a whisk, so mix the colors. And what colors do you see? You should see purple. Okay, my prediction was correct. I got purple color. Okay, the next step is we're going to use blue and yellow. So I'm going to take my blue paint again. I'm going to take my yellow paint, dump the yellow in the blue. Okay, give it a whisk, mix it together, and here you go. You will see green color in your cup, okay? And then you can go to your worksheet and check your prediction as well. And finally, we are going to do... It's okay. And finally, we're going to do green and red. Remember, to make green, we just made green. So what colors did we use for green? For green, we used blue and yellow. So here's my blue and yellow. Good girl. Blue and yellow. I'm going to mix it together because I need green. And then the last step is I'm going to put red inside and see what will happen if I put red and green together. So I'm going to dump this in, give it a shake, and here you go. What do I see? I kind of see, let me, it looks kind of gray or dark like muddy, muddy brown, so not as bright maybe as you expected. So I got some muddy brown or dark, dark brown, almost like, almost like the dark black or dark purple, but it is definitely a different color, okay? What colors did you get when you mixed your colors? Go ahead and post a comment below with your results. Also, you can check your answers on your reporting sheet. And remember, all of the worksheets are in the description below, so you can download it and then record your observation. You can also scan it or take a picture of that, send it to my email at anetkaacademy at gmail.com to, to share your scientific experiments. So remember, every scientist ask a question, form a hypothesis, which is a prediction or a guess, what will happen. We design the experiment, we use the things for the experiment, and now let's draw a conclusion. So what happened to our paint? Let's look at our recording sheet. And so in our worksheet, we had made some guesses. And you can see, did you guess the colors correct? On my worksheet, I guessed that yellow and red would make orange, which is true. If you look at my orange cup, I got some orange. Okay, if I put more yellow in, it'd be more bright orange. So this is something that I can, put, I can make a new experiment. Next prediction was red and blue will make purple. And I have really beautiful purple here. Next, I said if I mix blue and yellow, I will get green. And I got very bright green. And then finally, I said if I use green and red, I will use brown. So my brown is kind of looks like a muddy purple or dark black. So I didn't get exactly the right uh, bright brown uh, color on my experiment. So let's see, I think that this color, like I said, yellow and red can get more orange. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to 
add some more yellow right now and then we're going to see if that's true. If I add more yellow color, so I'm going to dip in and put some or more yellow and see if that will affect the color. I think if I put more orange, more yellow, in, I will create better orange color. So let's get some paint, mix it together, okay? And let's look at the results. And I do see that the color got much more brighter and much more orange. Okay, so this is something to consider when you're making your experiment that sometimes what you guess will happen might not happen and that's okay. Then you can just adjust your experiment or change and add to your experiment and just have fun with this. Now let's test our color. So I'm going to make sure that my brush is clean. So clean your brush really well. The first color was orange, remember red and yellow. So I want to see how that turned out. Okay, so I'm going to paint and see if I can see it on the paper. Okay, this is kind of a liquid right now, so it's not going to be as bright because I mixed it with water, but I kind of see that it's more like orange, more like carrot orange. Wash your brush. Let's test another. Make sure your brush is clean. We're going to test. So the next one's purple color. Oops, I think that's the wrong one. That's okay. Remember, if you make a mistake, it's you can always wash your brush and try again. So purple. I'm going to test some purple and look at that. That's a beautiful purple color. I love that. Even with water, it looks really cool. Like, like a lavender purple. It's really pretty. Okay, wash your brush one more time. Next color, remember green, blue, and yellow. So I'm going to find my green paint and test it on my paper. And once again, it is very light on the paper because it's mixed with water, but I can still see it's a beautiful bright green color. Wash your brush one more time and then finally let's test our brown because our brown kind of turned out really dark, dark purple or dark or like black. If I put it on the paper it does look next to purple especially, it kind of looks more like gray. So what are some things I can do to make it so remember I mixed green, red and green and red to make brown. So I wonder, my next question will be, I wonder what happened if I add more red color. Will it make it more brown? So let's test this theory one more time. We're going to remember dip it in the paint, dip it in the water, and then dip it in the paint and add some more red to our cup and see if it will help us. Okay, will it make it more brown? Okay, so what I look, looks like I actually made like a violet, instead of making it more brown, it's more like pink now. So that wasn't that what I was expecting, okay? So my next step is I can still play and think, mm, what if I add a little bit of blue and see what will change with blue? So dip it in blue paint, put it in your cup. And remember, this is the part of the experiment. You get to make and create some colors and put some blue in. If I put more blue, it actually makes a purple. So that's another. And then finally, let's try to, some yellow. And you can try that again. You can wash your cups and try again and see if you can get, so dip it in the yellow paint. I'm going to mix it, okay. And, and it looks like I'm just getting now more blue instead of brown actually getting into blues. So the original color actually looked the closest to brown. Okay, can I have this one? So here are the primary colors. Remember yellow, red and blue are primary colors. You can use them to create other colors. You can also get different shades of the same color, darker or, or lighter, and you can play around. You can come up with your own combinations and create some other colors, and you can use these colors to make a beautiful painting as well. Let's read White Rabbit's Color Book by Alan Baker. As we read this book, let's think about this color experiment we just did and what happened to the colors when we mix them. White Rabbit's Color Book by Alan Baker. One day, White Rabbit found three big tubs of paint, red, yellow, and blue. Remember, red, yellow, and blue are the basic or the primary colors, which, which means that you can mix them to make new colors. Sunshine yellow, she thought lovely. A quick dip 
and yellow rabbit, bright as the sun. Now, what about red? Thought rabbit. What's this? Orange rabbit? Look, red and yellow together make orange. Time for a wash, thought rabbit. Remember when we mixed red and yellow, we got orange. Red on its own this time. Splash! Red rabbit sizzling hot red. How cool blue looks, thought rabbit. What's this? Purple rabbit? Look, red and blue together makes purple. I am very important royal purple rabbit. Princess purple rabbit in the shower. Blue will do, thought rabbit. Blue rabbit, icy cold blue. Brr. How warm yellow looks, thought rabbit. What's this? Green rabbit. Look, blue and yellow together make green. Oh dear, no more water. All that is left is a little red paint. Now what would happen, thought rabbit. Remember when we mix blue, yellow and red, we got brown color. Hooray, brown rabbit, lovely warm brown. Blue, yellow and red together make brown. And brown's just right for me. Wild rabbits usually are brown because they are trying to blend in into the environment so that predators like foxes and wolves cannot see them. So brown color is just right for the rabbit. If you like this video, go ahead, like, share and subscribe and come back to watch more episodes about summer fun activities. See you again later. Bye-bye.